So over the last couple of days, I've been getting questions about perma stats, perma reload, fleet tech, and all that jazz. So today we're making a video about fleet tech and perma stats and, all, and what that all is and all that jazz, right? So what is perma stat? So perma stat you can easily find from just going to one of your ships. It doesn't matter who it is. So I'm gonna pick Shinano here because it's really simple. It's on top left corner, and you click this button right here. You click tech, and what you see right here are your perma stats. So you see 46 health, 4 anti-air, 43 aviation, and 28 reload, right? These are stats added on top of whatever your ship already has. And it's permanently applied to your ships for PvE content. Not PvP, but for PvE. So, you may think, what's significant about this? It's like 43 aviation, 28 uh, reload, that's pretty good, right? Yes, it is pretty good, but the effort it takes to get these perma stats is not easy. It is not. It is time consuming. It's a big resource sink, but these stats apply to all your ships. So you see those uh, 43 aviation and 28 reload. It also applies to your other ships as well. Now, the only difference is that like certain ships like light carriers or whatever, they may not get the same benefits as your um carriers and whatnot like for example right here i have 29 reload and 52 aviation so it's not gonna be the same for all sh types of ships but for like let's say carriers all carriers are gonna get the same stats whereas light carriers are all gonna get the same stats there but carriers and light carriers won't have the same stats identical for perma stats so now the big question is how do i get these perma stats so perma stats if you want to get them uh, i use the wiki for this but you can also look into the fleet technology as well when you get a ship to 120, you get a permanent stat for all types of ships. So, for example, you also get this from unlocking a ship as well, too. So, in this case, when you unlock Shinana, you get her for the first time. You get two health on every carrier and light carrier in the game. Each and all of them give plus two health. Now, that's just the first part of perma stat. The second part is you get plus one aviation for being 120. This, most of the time, is the big part right here. Uh, this is like the additional perma stat that a lot of people work on grinding for. These stack up. So when you get a lot of ships to 120, those start to stack up. So, for example, uh, going back to uh, the Shinano example, like I have 43 aviation. Some give plus 1 aviation, some give plus 2. But this is about like, what, 20 to 30-ish uh, carriers that are level 120 already. That's how you get those perma stats. You got to farm specific ships. And those specific ships give stats. And those stats add to perma stats. So you can dig through all this and see which one you want. I personally use the wiki because the wiki just has it all out there for you. I'll go ahead and link it in the description or something. But that's how you do it. So for example, uh, I click the button right here and that's bad. One second. Let's do I go to uh, carriers right here. I'm trying to finish up Tico and Shangri La. These girls give plus two aviation right now. So they give plus two aviation at 120, which means right now I get plus four aviation if I have these two maxed out 120. Now I get more, like plus one right here as well. There's a whole list of them. Uh, whenever they're blinking or whatever, it shows that they're 120 already. So the ones that aren't blinking, like Tico, Shangri La, Lexington, Hornet, Wasp, and them. Those aren't 120 yet, so you're going to have to work on those if you want those perma stats. Otherwise, you can ignore them if you want, but those apply to all types of ships for that specific um, category for all PvE content. So that's what you do. Now, is this worth it? It's an end game thing, guys. When you have nothing to do and you have a lot of oil, you want to farm some stats, you want to get stronger somehow. Aside from the RNG cats, this is also one way to get stronger. It is perma stats. Um, for the big big ships out there, like carriers, you can get up to like 50 aviation and 33 uh, 33 reload. That's a lot. It's a lot. 50 aviation is basically half a steam catapult, uh, catapult at plus 10, which is huge. Uh, 33 reload is about maybe three to four seconds shaved off per airstrike that is also very very big as well too so reload on carriers is pretty significant you want to get this as high as possible and make it a lot easier for you to get those airstrikes in when you're doing like full auto stuff and whatnot it's going to help out a lot and aviation's all obviously raw stats more damage 
is also going to help out a lot as well. As for battleships, um, battleships here, you can get up to, as of right now, 56 firepower. 56 firepower is basically a plus 10 white shell, guys. If you guys don't already know, it's plus, 50, uh, plus 55 for a white shell. So it's basically that. It is pretty damn good. It's basically one auxiliary right there for the amount of perma firepower you can get. Also, there's also um, hit or whatever. It doesn't show right here, but I think the, like the other J uh, Japanese and Chinese server shows the hit stat. There's also hit stat you can farm as well too. I think that's like right now like plus 10 or something. I'm not sure. Um, you can also max that out. Reload, I'm not a fan of as of right now, but if you want to stack in reload for ba battleships, you can go ahead and do that as well too. Uh, until they have that little rework or whatever where you can adjust uh, reload for uh, battleships and whatnot. Um, I'll probably work on it then. But you guys don't have to really prioritize this. Firepower and hit though are very good to have in battleships. Now there's also vanguards and stuff. I personally just go for firepower and evasion on um, heavy cruisers. So as of right now, I think 35 might be the highest. I'm not sure. I got to double check on that. Uh, also there's evasion. I think it's like plus two or whatever. You can stack those. And then light cruisers, I don't know, just stack like firepower, torpedoes, and stat. Obviously, the damage stats are what you want to aim for. So, torpedoes, firepower, stack those for vanguards. Uh, for carriers, you want to go aviation, reload, prioritize those. And for battleships, go for hit and go for firepower for those. So, perma stats, it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of 120. So, if you guys are wondering, uh, Kima, why are you out of cog chips or whatever? It's because I'm working on perma stats right now. And because they made the leveling curve a lot easier and you have so many incentives to just get exp altogether with the oil caps exp tickets and the exp curve going down you burn through these cog ships very very fast and i'm trying to get for perma stats right now so that's why you see me struggling so once again this is end game stuff don't prioritize this if you're like a new relatively new to mid game player Focus on getting the ships you want to get to 120, 125 first, and then where we get to the where we get to the point where you got all the ships you want to get to 120 or 125, then you can consider doing perma stats and whatnot. But again, end game stuff. You're leveling up ships that you normally wouldn't use, like right here, Wasp, Heo, Junyo. I wouldn't normally use these ships, but I'm getting them to 120 because they give plus one reload each perma stat. So together, that's plus three perma reload. That I have to all my carriers, which is very good. So, hopefully, that answers some questions for you guys. End game content stuff, don't worry about it. And you can dig all the stuff on a wiki or whatever, and you guys should be okay. So, good luck farming or whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video.